Hey there, and welcome back. This video will be about the protocol MQTT, which is used in IoT, so in the Internet of Things. And uh, then we look into setting up a Raspberry Pi as a server, or so-called broker, and a, a client on the ESP32. Now, to understand the MQTT, you can actually follow the first few steps, because it's similar to how the pub sub system on YouTube works. So what you can do, you can subscribe to my channel and now um, you get messages when I publish a video. And MQTT is working similar to that. So there you subscribe to a topic and not a channel, for example the topic test. And when anyone publishes anything to the to topic test, then you are getting notified and you receive the message. Now to handle who has subscribed um, to whom and which topics exist, you need a server, which is called in MQTT a broker. And this one we want to set up um, on the Raspberry Pi in this video. Now to install the broker, it's pretty straightforward. You go into your um, Raspberry Pi terminal and type in sudo apt get install mosquito or and mosquito minus clients. The last one is just to have everything. And then when it is asked, you accept with an a Y. Now the server should be successfully installed and we can test it with a so-called um, graphical user interface mqtt.fx, which you can download in the link in the video description. There, the first step is to um, tell the program where the broker is to be reached. So you need to tell them the IP address of the broker. And that you can do under settings and the IP address you can um, get when you type in the resp in the respy terminal if config and for me it was 192.168.178.79. Now you can hit the connect button and and open another window and hit connect there as well. Now, on one window, you can now publish um, to a topic you want. I um, used test. And on the other side, you can subscribe to the topic test. And then, and now you can see that the messages are successfully transferred. And we can assume that our broker works fine. Now, to use our broker, we of course need some clients, like sensors who send data to it, or, for example, a switch. And as a simple first example, I want to set up a MQTT client on the ESP32 controlling an LED connected to the port 12. Now, you need a so-called PubSub client library, which you can download from the GitHub page in the video description. And to include the zip file of the library, you um, in the Arduino IDE, go to sketch, then include library, add zip library, and you're good to go. There, you just need to pay attention um, that no special letters are in the file name because this can cause, cause some issues. Now, we can um, use one of their examples. So you go to file, example, pops up client, and then unfortunately, every Example uses the Ethernet shield, but one, the ESP8266, um, uses a, a, another library. And this we can adapt to use the ESP32. So you need to do four things there. The first thing is you need to change the library name to Wi-Fi with a capital F. Then you need to declare the built-in LED to your port. For me, it was 12. And then you need to change the high and low in the callback function because this is the other way around for the ESP8266. And then, as last but not least, you need to type in your SSID, your password, and the IP address of the broker. Now, I did this in, a, in another file so that I don't need to blur anything. Then, you can upload the script and open the serial monitor and pay attention there that you choose the right baud rate and for this example is this 100 
and 15,200. Now a quick glance on the code just to get the rough idea of it. So in the reconnect function it basically reconnects to the broker and publishes um, to the topic out topic hello world and it subscribes to in topic. And then setup there the most important thing is that the callback function is set to callback. So whenever a message arrives in a, any subscribed topic the callback function is called. The loop function publishes every second to every two seconds the hello world message and after that there's a hashtag and a number which increases by one every single time. And on the callback function it determines the first character of the mes message and when this character is one the LED is switched on and when it is zero, the LED is switched off. Now, to use, uh, to test the sketch, we can again use our mqtt.fx program. And what you can do is, of course, hit connect and then publish to the topic in topic one and zeros. And you can see with a low latency, the lights are turned on and off. Now, to test whether the publish function works, you can uh, again connect to the broker and scan the topics. Then you can subscribe to out topic and you see the messages um, arriving. And if you put this next to the serial monitor, you see again the low latency because the numbers are pretty close to appear at the same time. So this was um, the basic of IoT and now you can send sensor data from any ESP32 or control switches or whatever you want and um, to do so you just need to create another topic and then you can subscribe and you should be good to go. I hope you liked the video, if you did then please subscribe and hit the like button. Stay curious and bye!